Hey, good morning, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed those drone shots. So today I decided instead of sleeping in, in this beautiful Sunday morning, I woke up early, got out to see the sunrise. In the meantime, I decided why not do a nice quick hike and uh, I decided to do the Coco Crater Rim Trail. So I'm here in Coco Crater, which is a tough cone, same as a Diamond Head or Coco Head, which is not Coco Crater, but I will get into that in a moment. So what is a tough cone? The tough cone basically is a, is created by the interaction between hot lava and cold body of water, in this case the ocean, and it's actually called as ash cones too because it's all made of volcanic ashes and then by time it turns into a kind of rock which one called the tough. There is a lot of fun scrambling in this section. I'm heading up to uh, top of Coco Crater and the peak is around 1200 feet which is called Kohele Pelepe. So it's a beautiful view. Behind me, the Kolau Mountains, which are actually a remnant of a shield volcano. And I learned a fun fact about shield volcanoes. Shield volcanoes got their names from Icelanders who thought that these flat, large volcanoes look like a warrior shield lay down on the ground. Oh, might be. Lately a lot of people try to do this route as fast as they can but if you are not an experienced you know hiker trail runner just don't do it be safe out there getting close to Coco Crater stairs did you hear what I said Coco Crater stairs and not Coco head stairs yes I feel like there is a huge confusion about this name and it's kind of Annoying to tell you the truth because Coco Head is another tough cone right by Hanauma Bay and Coco Crater is right what I'm doing right now and the stairs are on the leeward side of the Coco Crater. I'm just wondering why people call it Coco Head Stairs. I'm thinking that because the park is actually called Coco Head District Park, maybe people just thought that's the name of it but not really so and the actual peak of Kohele Pelepe all right 
guys so that was over 900 steps stairs called coco stairs in video i'm not gonna talk too much about it because it's not one of my favorite spots you just always fool with people you know it's more like a workout place it's not my thing so i just came up with the side of the crater right there so from here most of it is gonna be downhill As you guys can see, this section is uh, less technical, it's more joggable, even runnable. So this is gonna be a much faster descent than the other side. The ascent was pretty technical, a lot of fun scrambling. This is a more mellow, more graded downhill. So that was the last steep drop back there from here is just a nice dry walk out and I'm almost back at the car so it's a nice little circumnavigation around the crater it's less than three miles just a little bit over a thousand feet of elevation gain it shouldn't take more than max two to, two to three hours the whole loop okay guys thank you for joining me for another short adventure and see you guys next time aloha